Welcome to Reading High School Football, <laughs> right. Brian. Listen, after after years of doing this for Pop Warner, I thought I was out, and they pulled me back in. I got the late-minute call from BVH to come out and do some play-by-play -play for the Reading uh, freshman football team. The good news is there's about 45 kids in this team, and I don't know any of their numbers, so that's a good start <laughs> for us right now, right? Exactly. So listen, BVH, i got to tell you this. I've worked with a lot of cameramen in my day, yeah, yeah. and uh, you're like the ninth best. All right, nice. Yeah. The good news is I've only worked with seven. Oh, there you, you go. You know what I mean? So, so, the, so, so there's very, very low expectations right here for you, you and me on the camera. We have a lot of rust going on right here now. But listen, this Rocket team, uh, this is what they're dealing with, right? About a week's worth of practice, right? A lot of new plays for guys and an awful lot of guys in here. Right now we get Dan Damari, number 11, and number 5, Nick Perez, heading out there for, uh, to take the toss. And uh, what a beautiful day it is here today. Oh, uh, I just have to make it perfect. I just make it perfectly clear. We're not affiliated right now with RMHS. This is RCTV. Yeah. So the just so the good news is um, the good news is uh, we weren't fired last year by the RCTV sensors, BVH. <laughs> no. But uh, listen, we're going to do our best to get names and numbers right. I'm sure we'll learn them as we as we go along here. But it's a beautiful day in Wakefield. A uh, little bit about this Wakefield team. Last year, their eighth grade team went undefeated. Right, so these guys have some good players, but I also heard that three of their skilled players went off to uh, private schools, so that uh, that can kill a team too. But when you're looking at these two rosters, about 23 guys on uh, Wakefield, about 40 on uh, Reading, and we're get, we're about to get underway soon. All right, guys, here we are for the kickoff. Looks like number 68, Brendan Fox is in there. I think this is normally the duties you might see Lucas Fleming in there, but Lucas is out for the game today on the sidelines. Here's the kickoff. Fielded cleanly up the middle. He's got a big hole, a runner, and he gets pulled down over midfield. So short kick and a nice run back for Wakefield. They're going to have excellent field position inside Rocket territory at the 45. We have Dom DiCrescenzo. We have Dave Lynch. We have Larry Lorenza. And looks like Jacob Jander up there, front four. Little motion here, it's a swing left. He cuts up, he's got a nice hole, 17. Gets picked up by number 40 right there. I think that's Adam Deemer. And number 15, I um, believe that that's, uh, Trevor oh, sorry, Conroy. Trevor Conroy, but Nick Perez was in there too. So gain of five here, it's gonna be second and five upcoming. Right up the middle, he's got a little bit of room, gets stacked up immediately and ripped nice. down. Number 11, Damari, and number, let's see, 52 was Dom DiCrescenzo. So beautiful play up there, nowhere to go with Domi and uh, Damari. We, we called those guys' names quite a bit last year. We got the linebacking crew in there too. I think I see Derek Van Horn in there, I got Deemer. Um, to figure out who number seven is out here for us. So third and four, big play right here early in the game. He's going to pass. He's out to pass. He throws it across the middle. He overthrows it. Nice. 22 had a little bit of bead. Derek Van Horn was on him, and he just overthrew it. So it's going to be fourth down right here. But interesting call right here at the 45. If they don't think they're going to gain too much field position, you may see them go for it here, Brian. Yeah, they'll def they should definitely go for it. Do we know who seven is? I don't know. All right, here we go. Fourth down play here. It's motion. It's a handoff to 17. He's got room, and he cuts it back. And Oh, he gets met, I think, just before. Nice hit, Danny Number 11 Damari. by Damari to come in and close it. I think he's short, but they look like they gave him a very good spot here. Oh, oh they, they gave, gave him the him first. first down, I, I, I'd love to see that one again because I didn't really see it come out there, but... They gave him an excellent spot. I thought Damari stuck him before the 35-yard line, but they're going to give him the first. So credit out Wakefield for a tough run, but Damari came in and closed that door, and I thought he closed it about a foot early. Yeah. Big, big play right there to get a new set of downs. New line in there. Oki hops in there. It's going to be a swing pass right there, and that looks like uh, 65 right there. That's Lynchy getting in there. Dominic right in there as well. Yeah, 
Get Larry on the nose tackle here. 21 right is DiNapoli. Left Van Horn. Back deep is Perez. It's going to be a pass across the middle. Oh, Domi gets pressure on him. He makes a good move to escape. Nice. But then it gets wrapped up very quickly. Big, right big there, Lynch, down right Lynch is in there again. Definitely two down territory again. I'd say so, right? If last one yeah. was, this one definitely will be. So it's, it's third right here. and about 12 upcoming right here. He's back to pass. He dumps it over the middle. He's got a little bit of room ahead of him. Great job to close right Dan there is Damari. Beautiful. Sn snuffed it out and drops him for a loss. So Dan Damari showing his ways. You know, early on, Brian, with minimal practice, you'll see the defense will tend to congeal a little bit earlier than the offense yeah, yeah. about learning those plays. But, you know, what a guy like Damari has senses, uh, you know, to close that hole, he's got great football sense and always has had it. And then, oh, yeah. a a as, as you know, this is the year, right? He probably gained about four inches and, and 25 <laughs> yeah. pounds from last year. No so he's even more fearsome than last year. Big fourth down play here. There's not a whole lot of fourth and 14 plays in the book. Especially this early in the season, so the goal here is to. It looks like they get they get a flag here now. It might be a delay a game, and it does look like they are going to punt it. So they're going to move this thing back at least five. Oh, they got too many guys on the field, is what he's calling. There we go. Pulls it back five yards, and it looks like they are going to kick this one too. So they're going to set up shortly for that one. Here we go. These guys are back to kick right now. Back deep. It looks like. Uh, is it Damari or, oh no, it's actually DiNapoli is back deep. He does kick it away. He might just be good to let that go, and that's a good play right there by Adam. Let's it go. They do kick it inside the 20, but the Rockets are going to see their first offensive series. Right now, we see Tice. We see Oki going out there, 55. Number 60, Sean Beckenhuis, 34. Newcomer Trevor Thornton's out there. 21 is DiNapoli. 23 is Derek Van Horn. Number 11, Danny Damari going to lead the offense here. Quick break right now. Two split left and right. Hand off up the middle of Thornton. He's got a big hole. First rush, official rush of the year. He gets pulled down after about five. So Trevor's a big, tough kid. But he hasn't played football before, right? So the things that you got to learn there are really just about how to carry the ball the right yeah. way, right? Yep. Those are the types of things that some of the Pop Warner kids might have some advantages. But Trevor's certainly got some wheels, and he's a tough guy. Uh, sometimes you just got to make sure that you're holding on to the ball the right way. Nice job on his first carry there. Same setup. He hands it off to Trev again. He meets someone. He gets stacked up quickly and gets about maybe just a couple here. And it's going to be third and call a three and a half upcoming. That whole left side was open. Yeah, if he cuts left, he's, yeah, he's got daylight. Big time. Rockets wasting no time in the huddle here. He doesn't give Wakefield a lot of room. Same setup, two split left and right. It's a keeper for Damari. Damari cuts it. And he's got to drive forward, and he's very close. He's got the first down, so nice job by Danny. You see Danny's got those instincts. He's following a guy. He sees the hole and cuts left, so yep. that's a big play for Damari, and it's a new set of downs for the Rockets. First and 10 here from the 31-yard line. You know, with a week's worth of playing, Brian, there's probably not a whole lot of uh, plays in the book today, but you'll yeah, probably right. see variations on the same thing. And it's going to be movement on the Rockets there. I think we saw Denapoli just take a step early, and it's going yeah. to move them back five yards. We'll redo first down. First and 15 right here for the Rockets after the pushback on the motion. It's a handoff up the middle. Oh, he's met early, but drives forward for four tough yards is Thornton. So big number 76 in the middle. A couple of big guys at linebacker for, uh, for Wakefield. Tough four yards right there for Thornton. It's going to be second and call it 12. Damari coming to the sideline to check out with head coach Giuseppe Federer on the call. 
They get a tight end there. This time he's cut in there. Oh, he just gets tripped up. Nice hesitation move for Thornton. He had uh, daylight in front of him and just gets caught, so he's going to lose a couple yards on that one. Love to see him get in some open space and see what he can do there, Brian, but not to be on that play, so it's going to be third and long here. Certainly isn't four down territory from deep in their own end zone, so this is a big play for the Rockets. Two split left, two right. Here's Damari. He's a keeper himself. Danny takes it for about six or seven, gives himself a little bit of room, but he's going to be well short of that first down, and you probably look for the Rockets to kick here. Might go. We'll see where Damari sets up here. He's setting up as if they're going for it with fourth and eight. Very risky call early well, actually, on here. Oh, he looks like he is going to kick it. So he does kick it. Gets away a little bit of a wobbly kick, but takes a rocket bounce. Oh, gets touched there. He's a, he's a, he's a live guy to go get him. Well, he gains, pulls it back for a couple of yards there, but the Rockets are sitting around watching him. He picked up that ball and you know, no one was moving on him. So gets back over the 50-yard uh, line here, and, the, and Wakefield's going to take over almost exactly where they did in the first set of downs, just around the, let's call it the 48-yard line, but in Rocket territory again. So it's going to be up for the Rocket D to step up again in this series. First and 10 here, I formation. It's going to be a sweep handoff here. He gets pushed down there from behind. No penalty, but a great job nice. right there. It's got to be Damari again. Tell just by the way he runs. He snuffs that play out early and closes very quickly for a loss. So great play by Damari. The Rockets on offense and defense. Handoff right up the gut. He's got a big hole there. Closes up relatively quickly. Let's see who got him there. Number, let's see, 60, 67, I think, is... Uh, Jay Kajander over there. So Kajander pulls him down, but not after a gain of about five. It's going to be third and eight upcoming. We saw what Wakefield did last time. It was definitely four down territory, so expect the same here. He's back to pass. He throws it underneath. Nice pass and catch. He tries to make some moves. He does. Gets it down cl very close to the first down. He's going to be short by about a yard here, and you'll definitely see them go for it here on fourth and one. Rockets will need a big play to get the ball back on this one. Fourth and a, just about a yard here for Wakefield. Right up the gut, and he, make, he, gets, he gets it a little bit more. So first down for Wakefield here. Just off tackle, and they're going to get a new set of downs. The end of the first quarter. End of the first quarter went very, very quickly here. So the game basically played in, the, in, in about 30 yards of the whole field. Unfortunately, they've been on the Rocket side of the ball here. But the end of the first here, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. I think both of these guys are feeling each other out here. I don't know how many uh, weeks Wakefield had to repair. I know the Rockets just had a single one. <coughs> but nonetheless, this is going to be a test for both of these teams early on. Uh, Wakefield with only 23 players, they're going to be probably playing the same, uh, you know, 15 players much of this game. So that could benefit the Rockets late in the game. Definitely. All right, here we go. It's going to be first and 10 here for Wakefield. A little tough to see in that sun, Brian. Thank goodness yeah. I'm standing back here in the shade. You are burning <laughs> up right now next yeah. to me, though. It's, oh, nice. I just – ball, the ball's on the ground. Dominic uh, DiCrescenzo comes in and puts a huge lick on him, comes up with the ball, but they're going to say he was down. It was sort of a poor handoff. I think he had to go down to get it, but Domi was all over him, put a lick on him, almost took the ball away. But it's going to be second and 12 upcoming here. Can't make a mistake on a handoff with that front line of the uh, Rockets up there, Brian, because they're going to pounce on you. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty big and quick. Larry in the middle here. We got Dominic, number 52, in there. Out on the right is DiNapoli. I think we got Lynchy on the line, too, and 67, Jake Ajander.
Handoff right up the gut, cuts back, and number 40 gets in there. I think that's Deemer with the initial hit. Nice play by Adam and a little bit of help from uh, Trevor Conroy and Damari. So it holds him to a, almost a no gain here. It's going to be third and call it just over 12. All right, third and 12 here upcoming. Probable four down territory again. Got some motion here. He's going to go back to pass. Throws it underneath us. Nice, nicely caught. Gets wrapped up immediately. Number seven out there. I think that's Ferrante out there at seven. Uh, yeah. So he makes a nice play there. So it makes it a short game. Could have been a much bigger one. Threw it underneath. Didn't lead him. But that was a nicely set up play, an executed play. But just for a short game, it's going to be a fourth and eight upcoming. Okay, we got a fourth down play right here, and it's a big one. Rockets would love to get the ball back here early in the second quarter. Certainly looks like it's going to be a pass play. He goes back. He is going to pass it. There was some movement, though. They moved early, and they're going to move this back five yards nice. and make it fourth and 12. So I would ex go. expect him to see him call the same play here, but nonetheless, it's going to give the Rockets a little bit more cushion here. So fourth and 12 upcoming with the legal motion on Wakefield. And quarterback's going over to check what the play is. Preparing for a kick here, and they're going to get one. Nick DiNapoli, uh, uh, Nick DiNapoli, <laughs> Adam DiNapoli. Nick DiNapoli is a star for the high school team. His older brother up at UNH these days. It goes back to DiNapoli, takes a, a bounce away from him. He's going to let it go. So took an unfortunate bounce. I'd love to see what Adam could do if he got his hands on the ball, but it's going to pin the Rockets deep in their own territory. It's going to be first and 10 from their own 10 upcoming. Bro, oh, yeah. Here we go, first and 10 here from just about their own 10. And the shotgun's Damari. Thornton to the left of him. It's going to be a handoff up the middle of Thornton. He's got a big room in front of him. He busts it for about maybe good eight yards anyway. Close to the first down, maybe 10. They must have been started on the eight. I can't see that far anymore, Brian. <laughs> I actually went back and got my glasses. And you know where they are right now? In my pocket. I have no idea. Uh, why I don't know. I'm not wearing go. them. Might break them out and get some of these numbers and names right. There you go. Here we go. It's going to be second and about just over two here. Nice first down run by Thornton. Thornton flanks him again. He hands the same exact play up the middle, and Thornton takes it outside, rushes. He's got his first. So it looks like a first down for the Rockets. Maybe that's one of those things, too. Trevor's a tough guy, right? you got to realize if you are stacked up, don't get that ball stripped, right? So he yeah. did a good job of holding on to it there. And those are those are some of the things you'll run into as a first-time runner, right? You try yeah. to do too much too early, but Trevor did a good job holding on to it there. And sometimes it's, uh, it's better just to go down when you're getting swarmed. So first and 10 here for the Rockets. A little bit of breathing room from the 20. Same setup, Damari flanked by... Thornton, we got Evan Tice, and we got Derek Van Horn split right. It's going to be a Damari keeper behind. He finds a hole, and Danny cuts it back, and he takes that for almost another 10. I think that's another first down for Dan. So good play uh, to follow Thornton. He saw the hole and cut left, and we've seen Damari do that 100 times in Pop Water. He's got a nose for the hole, both offensively and defensively. He takes that first one, and... Now the Rockets get some real positive yardage going here. Let's see if we can move this thing into Wakefield territory. This time Thornton flanks Damari on his left. Hand back, it goes right back up to Thornton. He gets pulled down after a gain of about three or four. So a lot of plays to Damari and Thornton on the run right here early in the game. Bulls tackle, pretty big line there for Wakefield. It's a keeper right there for Danny. Finds a hole. He gets wrapped up pretty quickly, though. So nice play there by Wakefield. They limit him to a short gain. We're going to be looking at about third and six upcoming. Who's doing the snapping? Do we know? A big play here. Third and call it six.
It's back to, to passes to Mari, and he throws it outside. Just leads DiNapoli a little bit too far. Nicely set at play. We looked like Conroy was going to take two guys with him, and DiNapoli went underneath in the flat, and he just uh, threw it a little bit ahead of him there. So it's going to be fourth down, and the Rockets aren't hesitating. They're going to go for it. Coach Federa content to see what the Rockets can do here on offense, even in their own territory. Very, very similar formations. Everyone, it's going to be a keeper for Damari. He gets around. Oh, they're going to call a hold there on Thornton. He gets the first down and more, but they're going to call Thornton on it. Unfortunately, I think they're going to call it on a hold there on number 57. And I think it's unfortunate because if he just kept his hands inside, Damari still had a chance to get around him. And yeah. maybe that's what we talk about. One of those new players just got his hands outside of him, called holding and moved it, moved it back. And now you'll probably see Coach Federa rethink that play now that it's fourth and long. Not too many plays in the book here. Looks like Thornton is going to take this to kick it away. Much better boot there from Trev, and he gets a good little bounce. And that bounces right up in his hands, though, so for Wakefield to pick it up, cuts back and gets closed on very quickly. Let's see who was in there. I think that's number 60. Beckenhuis was in there on the play. So Sean Beckenhuis makes the play. But once again, for the third series in a row, Wakefield's taken in uh, inside the Rocket territory, right around the 45-yard line, 42-yard line, best field position yet. But nice kick by Thornton. It uh, bounced up a little charity hop right into the receiver's hands. Took it back for about 10 more. So Rocket defense being called on again here. A little different formation here for these guys. One guy in motion, hands right up the gut. He's got a little bit of room. Gets wrapped up by Deemer. And Kajander are in there as well, but after about a maybe a three, four yard gain here. You know, it's unfortunate on that penalty uh, last one, Brian, because certainly Damari had the room and it wasn't really necessary. It's really just about a placement of his hands. You know, yep. when, when those hands go outside the body, they're going to call you the hold every time. If they're inside, I think Damari would have made the exact same play and we'd be talking about a first and 10 from midfield. Yep. Let's call it for Wakefield. Similar play there, right up the gut, same exact play. Gets met again by Deemer, pushed back a little bit. Call it fourth and two. Wakefield going to a lot of similar plays too. They probably have a handful in their uh, yeah, right. in their arsenal, just like Redding at this point in the season. Let's call it third and two here. Uh, looks like some movement, but they didn't call it there. Beautiful play up the middle, but he, but he avoids him. Damari came in and closed it. He just got around him and credit the runner for Wakefield to shake it off and get the first down because uh, Damari came in on the blitz there, almost had him for about a four-yard loss and just had a different angle on him there. And it's going to be a first down here for Wakefield on the 30. First and 10 here, very, very similar formations in almost every play for both teams. He keeps it. He's got him wide open down the middle. Oh, he overthrows him. I think it was Ferrante and Perez were back there, but the Wakefield receiver got wide open. And uh, unfortunately for the Rockets, he overthrows him. Mm -hmm. That would have been an easy six right there. So nice. Uh, I like seeing him airing it out on that first play if you're Wakefield. Yeah. But... Uh, I'm sure they're frustrated right now, but that's a break for the Rockets. All right, it's second and 10 here after the incompletion. It's going to be a sweep right here. He's got a little bit of room ahead of him. Damari comes over and absolutely hammers him. What an angle, too. Perfect angle by Damari. He, that guy had all sorts of green ahead of him until Damari came in and closed the door. So beautiful play by Damari. And, you know, now that the clouds have gone in a little bit, Brian, I'm looking at you. Uh, your face is absolutely burnt to a crisp. <laughs> and it's, it's matching my red shirt right now. So just want to let you know that. Excellent. We will like to give a little bit of color commentary here for the folks who can't see uh, our pretty faces. Yeah, yeah. But uh, nonetheless, um, 
it looks like we got a timeout in the field here. Uh, I don't know if it's Rockets or, or Wakefield, but big play by Damari to push him back. It's going to be third and long, but once again, four down territory here. Rockets get number 68, Foxy in there on the uh, nose tackle, or just right tackle. Third and 11 here. He's back to pass. Oh, big push right there by Foxy. Oh, and it's intercepted right there. He lofts it up, and, and Perez holds on to it. It gets outside and runs it back, so big play. Lofted it up there right into Perez's hands. He looked like he had the guy open. It was just sort of a poor throw. Nick takes it back for about 20 yards, so nice play right there for some positive yardage for uh, for the Rockets. And the Rockets are going to take over with their best field position of the game, just about the over the 30-yard line here. Let's see if they can get something going, make that turnover hurt. Yeah, there can't be much time left in the half, so. Yeah, we got to be getting close here. They're breaking quickly. We have Tice. Van Horn split left. We have DiNapoli and Conroy split right. Handoff right up the middle of Thornton. He's got a big hole there, and Trevor takes it, covers it up. Nice job. Keeps spinning and spins about a good 20 yards there. It's a beautiful run by Thornton there. Gets it out close to midfield. We got a timeout here for the Rockets. Must be getting close here to the half, so he's stopping the clock here, Coach Federa. And they're going to draw up a couple of plays here to see if they can get something happening here before the half. Looks like we get Dominic DiCrescenzo, we have Lynchy, we have Danny Oak, and we have uh, Beckenhus on that line, and Jay Kajander. So Jay has actually been handling the snap state, trying to figure out who's got our center today. Two split left and split right. It's back to Damari. He's going to throw, and he looks deep out here, and he's got Conroy, and he gets it behind him, and Jeff's got Ruby cuts back. Stays on his feet, they're trying to rip the ball apart, so wow. Number 15 tries to jump the play, gets over him. Conroy pulls it down and rips it off for about 32 yards, and it's gonna be a big play there. He actually went down in bounds, so the clock's still gonna be going here, but now the Rockets are inside the red zone here. So beautiful pass play. Looked like number 15 had a beat on, he just jumped a little early. Conroy pulls it down and rips it off for 32. Best play of the game for uh, the Rockets. Word here is there's nine seconds left in the half, so you got to see. You're probably going to see the Rockets at least take one shot, if not two, in the end zone with the pass play. Damari actually keeps it. He follows Thornton. He's got room, and Damari's going to take it in. Oh, what a play! You think pass the whole way with nine seconds? It's a keeper for Damari. Nice. Give it to your best offensive player. <laughs> let him do what he does, and he did it. So Danny Damari gets the first points for the freshman Rocket team this year. Fitting, he's had a couple of huge plays on the ground here, a couple of huge defensive plays. And I'll tell you, everyone in this stadium was thinking pass. They go Damari up the gut, and he makes an athletic play and gets in there. So beautiful play for the Rockets to get in under the wire of the half. Great play by Damari, and more importantly, great blocking up the middle. Two-point conversion go right here for the Rockets. Thornton flanking Damari. He's going to go back, and he's going to pass it underneath. Great catch out there. I think it's Derek Van Horn, but he just doesn't get in. So nice pass and catch. Snuffed out nicely, but I like the looks of that. How about that, Brian, huh? Nope, Receiver Derek Van Horn going in there. Nice-looking play, but a good job by Wakefield to snuff it out. So just before the half, it's the Rockets 6, Wakefield nothing. And I tell you, it started with the interception for Perez. Big run by Thornton to get to the 50. Huge pass by Damari to Conroy to get down early. And Damari takes it about 20-plus yards in. And uh, credit Wakefield for stopping the extra point. But the Rockets are very happy to get on the board with, uh, uh, you know, on their on their two-minute offense there. Right now, we'll head back to the half with the Rockets 6, Wakefield nothing. All right, here we are ready for the kickoff. Hey, Brian, I just put my glasses on for the second half. Uh, I'm going to have to apologize. I just realized Redding was in white. There you go. Yeah, so go. everything I said do the exact opposite for the first half. It looks like Conroy and Thornton back deep here. Here's the kick. That's a good one. It's out to the side. Trevor fields it. 
kind of try to follow a block, but Demario gets wrapped up quickly, but Trev runs it right back to the 36-yard line. So nice catch by uh, Trev, picking up about 15 yards on the return, and the Rockets are going to take over here in the second half, a la Bill Belichick, right? We, we score right before the half, get the ball back. There you go. Huh? Are we talking? Some more points, it'll be good. We're looking at a lot of familiar faces here out in the crowd here, too. Uh, BVH. Yeah, Some I classics guess. here. Masucci, Gilligan, both Cronins are here. Mom and, mom and Dad are here. They're adorable. They go everywhere together. Holding hands, it's awesome. De Crescenzos are here. My gosh. Here we go. First and ten here. Thornton flanking Damari. Inside handoff, we've seen that many, many times today already. That one gets met and closed very quickly. Wakefield adjusting to that play. So it's going to be second and 10 upcoming. Damari coming in with the play. We got Conroy and DiNapoli split left. Van Horn and Tice split right. It's going to be a pass here. He throws it underneath. Oh, he just had Van Horn underneath and just let him a little bit deep. So we've had that play a couple of times where Damari's just let him a little bit too far. Number 11, who are the top number 11s out there in history? Um, BVH, I don't know, what man. do you think? You know who it isn't? Tony Eason. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, he, he was awful. Uh, I'm going to have to ask Bill uh, Bill Cronin who are the top number 11s uh, from in, in fo football history. I know we'll get some feedback from the uh, the peanut gallery up here and see if we can find out who is the best number 11 in history. Right now, I th right now I think the best number 11 is Dan Damari. Yeah, right. All right. The good news is I put Damari in my fantasy lineup this week. Nice. So Man, that's huge for me early. It's going to be inside handoff there to DVH. He cuts back. He's still on his feet. Oh, he almost gets a look like he almost got a face mask there, but they didn't call it. So inside handoff, look at this. Derek Van Horn getting all sorts of play, running and passing. He just cuts it up, but just gains probably a half a yard there. A little bit of a broken play. He saw uh, a little bit of daylight and get wrapped up. So it's going to be, gosh, looks like fourth down here, and they're going for it. They're going to call timeout here. Are oh, they going to send off? Something's going on. He might be bleeding on the arm. If you, if, uh, so they're switching up Deemer and Thornton right now. They'll send him off if he's got an uh, if he's got a cut. They got to put that cover that up. So Adam Deemer goes in right now for Damari, and Damari looks like he's going to go back to kick this thing. He does kick it. It's a short kick. We'll see which bounce it gets. It gets a Wakefield bounce. Oh, and I, I looked like it almost hit number 23 there, and Evan Tice was poised to pick that thing up and go. Wow, number 23 for Wakefield. Very fortunate it didn't hit his feet. So. Okay. Short, short punt right here, and Wakefield's going to take over at midfield. I, I, it's crazy. They're going to take over at midfield, and it's their worst field position to start. Yeah. So Rockets haven't been doing themselves any favors on the field position. They've been giving uh, Wakefield half a field much of this game and uh, relying on their defense to do something here. I have, uh, I have the entire Van Horn family up here uh, doing research <laughs> for us. Handoff right up the gut. He cuts back, and... In there's Jacob Jander, number 15, Conroy, to take him down after a short gain. And, and Jason Van Horn comes up, and he's showing me Drew Bledsoe. There you go. He's is he pretty, the best number 11? Good. There's got to be some other number 11s out there. Drew was good. He was good. Of course, you know, compared to uh, who came after him, no one's really that good, yeah, right? right. <laughs> so I'm going to have some more research saying the top number 11s in, uh, in football. Uh, and it was as Phil Sims. Oh, boy. Now we're going. JVH, you weren't even born when Phil Sims was playing. Cuts back, number 17. Nice move. And he gets open. Last guy to beat, and Perez hauls him down. Nice run by 17. Cuts it out for a first down. Gets close to the 30. And if not for Nick Perez to come in, he's got the end zone in his sights. So big first down there for uh, Wakefield coming up as we're talking about, um, you know, something else. Phil Sims and uh, Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> You gotta put Edelman on there. Oh, there we go. Number eleven in there. You know. Yeah. All right, first and ten from the thirty-two here. 
Big play for probably their best play from scrimmage right there for Wakefield. Handoff right up to God. He stumbles. Oh, right in there was, oh, gets crunched right there by Perez. But in there was, I think it was Lynch. He, 65, gets some good pressure, but couldn't bring him down. So Lynch, gets in the backfield, slows him down, and Perez cleans him up. So very short gain. Nice penetration in there for 65, Lynch. We got 69, Larry Lorenzo in there. We got Kajander in there. We got DiCrescenzo in there and Lynch, that front four. Behind them is Ferrante, Van Horn, Deemer, Damari, Conroy, and um, DiNapoli. Right up the gut, and he gets wrapped up immediately. Looks like DiCrescenzo wraps him up for a very short game. Nice play by Domi, and of course, right behind him is Damari. So call it third and seven upcoming. He's a back for a pass play. He throws it underneath, and he's open. They close on him quickly. Good job for Domi to come over and pick him up. DiNapoli was in there, had him wrapped up, slowed him down, and DiCrescenzo comes all the way across from the other side of the field to take him down. Stops him before the first down, but it's going to be fourth and three, and you're going to see Wakefield go for it here. Very big play here for big, the Rocket big, big defense. Deep. Love to get the ball back here. Huge play here for Rockets and Wakefield, as it were. Here we go, and the shotgun. He's got a pass, he rolls out. He's got time, he throws it. Right there on him is Perez, and nice job. Nice coverage by Perez. Hits his hands, but that was a very well defended play, and that's tough to do early in the season, too. Pass defense is tough. Made a nice throw, hit number 82 in the hands, but Perez was right there and right there cleanly. And the Rockets get the ball back on down. So beautiful play by Nick Perez back deep, and the offense takes over again. Let's see if Damari and company can uh, keep the same momentum they had before the half. I think my rookie camera skills showed on that last pass play. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Well, you've been doing it for years, uh, DV, uh, VVH, <laughs> but, you, but you just haven't done it well. That's all. <laughs> Here we go. Damari's going to be back to pass. He looks underneath. He throws it. It's going to be to – oh, he's got him open. This Denapoli floats it up. Denapoli gets pulled down to the 50. Number 22 jumped a little bit too early. A little bit of a floater, but Denapoli pulls it down. It's a big play. So we've had two big pl pass plays here by Damari. Underneath, and I, I, I might say fortunate on both, but fortunate just because the defenders jumped up a little early. But credit both uh, both uh, DiNapoli on this play and Conroy to have concentration for that, for both of those big plays. So first down here at midfield. Thornton flanking Damari. And it's a keeper of Damari. He cuts right. He's got a lot of room there. Danny's got speed. Oh, he cuts up. He's still on his feet. Wow, huge run right there for 15 for Damari. And he's got he's got the, the field vision, doesn't he, Brian? Oh, yeah, big time. He's got, he's got field vision 20 yards ahead of him. And he's a guy who can find a hole and make something from nothing. And that was a very well-designed play. He followed Thornton and had nothing but green in front of him. The difference here is they don't have a Dan Damari on the other side, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Who can close on those uh, on those plays like that to get stretched out. So yep. huge play, back-to-back -back plays here for the Rockets. Damari confers with Federa right here on first and 10 from the 35 of Wakefield. <laughs> Tyson Van Horn split left. It's going to be right up the gut here. We've seen that play a couple of times. Thornton still on his feet. Cuts back. And Trevin, nice run. He's, he can't be brought down. Wow. Very, very tough run. You know what? Trevor, Trevor Thornton actually looks a lot like Lucas Fleming did last year, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, right. You know, yep. Very, very similar running style. 
big bruising guys and tough to bring down. So, yep. you know, it'd be, it'd be great to get Fleming back at uh, at full uh, speed here, too, to have a one-two punch of those guys. Right. It's like two fullbacks back there, right? And Craig Dan. Ironhead Haywood <laughs> and, uh, and who else? What other giant Earl fullback? Campbell. Earl Campbell. He's my favorite of all time. Yeah, he was a beast. All, all my favorite of all time was, was Campbell. I, they didn't even have him run fullback. He was just a halfback. Yeah, he, just he was just as big as a down. fullback. Same exact play, just the opposite way. This one gets stacked up by big number 76 in the middle. So that's the first play for negative yardage in quite some time for the uh, Rockets. going to be, let's call it, uh, say, second and 12 right now. Defensive substitutions in for Wakefield. I used to punch this in right here and go up two scores. Thornton to the right of Damari. Damari goes back to pass. He always oh, he swings it out, and it looked like that might have been a double pass play, possibly, because I saw 84. I think that's his. Not sure who 84 is right there, but uh, it was Grady, Jonathan Grady, tearing down the middle. He's wide open. It looked like it was a lateral pass that was going to go to um, DiNapoli, and maybe we might have seen some trickery okay. there. Unfortunately, the pass was low for Damari. It's going to be third and uh, long here. Clearly uh, four down territory here, though. Rockets would love to get another one. Van Horn and Tice split right. Grady, a tight end. Split left is Denapoli. Handoff right up the middle. A huge hole for Thornton. And he drives in there. Let's see if he's close. He might be very close to the first down here. Yeah, he might have it. It's close. Can't Let's be more than a yard. Let's see where they put it. They're looking at each other here, and it's going to be, wow, not a great spot there. I guess he, hard to see from here, but it looks like they still got four yards to go for that first, but... Big, big play here for the Rockets. Either way, they're going to be pinning uh, Wakefield very deep, but they'd love to get six here. Look for DeMar to keep this one himself, and he does. He sees a hole, cuts back, and is he close enough to get it? He's right there, and let's see. Let's see what they call. I think it might. they might have turned this ball over on downs. That's what Wakefield's indicating. Wow, just short of that first. Let's see, a little confusion on the field if uh, they got the first or not. Coach Federer is asking what the story is. And they're saying they turned it over, so out comes the defense right now. Big, big, huge play for Wakefield to start, keep the Rockets out of the end zone on that one. All right, here we go. It's going to be first down for Wakefield. So credit Wakefield for being tough in their own uh, zone here, but they are pinned back deep. Oh, the oh, hike nice. is over his head here. Get on Way now. back. Get on they got to jump on him. That's going to be a safety. Wow. Nice. <laughs> we needed some points. They First bad snap of the day, and it's a terrible time to have it for Wakefield. Goes over his head. It's going to be a safety for the Rockets, and they're going to get the ball back. Nice, nice. So, so needed. much for the two-point conversion because we just got it right there, <laughs> Brian. The Rockets go up 8 nothing, and now Wakefield's going to have to free kick this one back to the Rockets. So, Excellent. Beautiful play right there uh, for Redding, and that's a, that's a much-needed two points right there. So, listen, the pressure's on inside the 10-yard line for everybody at this level, uh, Brian, and sure enough. Oh, hold up. All right, here's the free kick after the safety. DVH, going to have to apologize. Multiple phone calls from the wife during the break. That's all it's right. It's unbelievable. We get a kick right here. Doesn't she realize, oh, that's a big kick there. Nice scoop there by Thornton. Big pickup. He cuts it. He's got a head of steam, too. Whoa. Is he taking it? He's still on his feet. He cuts it out left. They're going to call a penalty. I hope it doesn't bring this one back because Thornton just took it to the house. And there, oh, we're looking for a call here. I don't know what it's going to be, and it might be holding against the Redding. Oh, beautiful run by Thornton. Cuts back, and maybe he was sprung by a, 
by a hold on the left-hand side there. At least that's what the uh, they're indicating. So unfortunate for the Rockets, but I do think it's a spot foul. So we're at where they think it happened, we'll move back 10. They're still going to have excellent field position, but that's unfortunate because it was a beautiful catch and run by Thornton. So like I was saying, BVH, I should just be like the Cronins, just show up everywhere together. You have to call <laughs> me. She's like, what are you doing? I said, well, I get conned back into doing this, honey. <laughs> just one of my reasons to stay up here and not hang out with you guys, right? Down here, the Cronins, look it over here. <laughs> Nicole Cronin looks like she should have a beach chair out here. The sun is wailing down on us, right? And a drink with an umbrella in it. Go, get going, please. <laughs> wow, they moved this way back. Yeah, right? That's gross. They, they 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 moved it back from the from the spot of the catch. Doesn't make any sense. It should be from the spot of the foul, right? Yeah. Who was it on? All right, here we go. We got Perez in there. We got uh, in for your quarterback now. Looks like a different offense. Oh, the handoff to Dean already. It's a muffed handoff, and Wakefield jumps on it. So the Rockets come in with an entirely new offense, put him in the game, and the first handoff is dropped between Perez and Deemer, mm. and Wakefield jumps on it and have excellent field position right here. So very, very unfortunate uh, turnover here for the Rockets, and now that D is going to be asked to step up. All right, here we go. A lot of new defensive players in there for the Rockets. Coach Federa mixing up the squad here. Right up the gut, 33, gets wrapped up immediately. Damari's in there, and it looks like number 40, Deemer. Deemer hits him with authority. He just wasn't happy with himself on that exchange. Gets in on the very next tackle. Short gain is going to be second and eight upcoming. Second and eighth, handoff right up the gut. Nice, nice penetration right there. Damari right snuffs it out, gets right in there, as well as number 67's Kajander. 68 is Foxy in there, but that was all Damari right there with the blitz, came right through, and that was a play he just missed on earlier yeah. that they got a first down on. It was a nice run, but Damari, key play right there, right back to third and ten. Third and ten. He's got. He's back to pass here. He rolls out. Oh, great coverage right there by Derek Van Horn. He tried to throw underneath the 49, and Derek was on him. Give him credit. He didn't really grasp the hand. He had the hand on his back. Yeah, but he if did. he had that, had that, <laughs> if he closed that hand, it might have been a little rough, right? But it was yeah. a nice coverage right there for your yeah. boy there, Brian. Nice job. Fourth and ten right here. Dana Isbell comes out there. He's, he's sending him back in there, number nine. This is where a numbers list would really help us, uh, Brian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fourth down, big play. It's go back to pass. He throws underneath. It's a little high, and he's had that problem. I just, I uh, just wanted to reiterate that number 64, Sean Cronin, was out there for that fourth down play. I think that's why the Cronin sat right next to us to keep just remind us, uh, <laughs> Brian, of every time 64 goes in there. But guess what? 64 was in there, and the Rockets get the ball back. So that's a good omen. And guess what? He's still in there. Now he's on offense. I love it. First down for the Rockets. Thornton rolling in, going in, and Damari as well. Joe Gilligan, number 66, is in there. 53, new snapper. We'll have to figure out who that is. That's Swanee, Dave Swanson. Swanee, the hand up right there up the middle. Thornton stays on his feet and drives it for about four. So Swanee's in there taking the snaps now. 64, Sean Cronin in there. 66, Joe Gilligan in there. Number 80, not sure who that is. Might be Mike DiPietro, not sure. Let's see, he's got some speed, but. Yeah. 
I call it second and nine right here for the Rockets. It's going to be inside hand off to Thornton, and this time he gets stacked up. So they bust in on the left side there, and Wakefield pushes him back for a loss of five. Be interested in what the time is here, Brian. Are we still in our third quarter third here? Quarter, yeah. I think we had the it's world's. Be getting low I think we had the, the world's fastest half and the world's longest third quarter. Yeah, right. It's got to be getting late in the third. Got to be very late here, right? Rockets up eight nothing. We got Thornton in the backfield. We have Derek Van Horn, split left, in the slot. Fake inside handoff, and oh, Damari gets met immediately. Three guys on him, quick. And the Rockets are going in the other direction right now. So it's going to be fourth and long here. Look for the Rockets to uh, put their foot to the ball here and see about getting some field position. All right, looks like Thornton's going to be back to kick here on fourth down. Kick by Thornton. Oh, it's field, it's a live ball right there. Oh, wow, and he absolutely gets crunched by uh, by um, Conroy. Number 24 was back, uh, 22 bounced off his feet, and Conroy came in and cleaned his clock. The ball was live and fortunate for Wakefield. They pounced on it. We're going to see if he's okay here. He took a big lick right there when that ball became live. There's left in this quarter. Okay, it's going to be first and 10 here. After the kick from midfield. A little bit of break there to get that player off. He did walk off on his own power, so that's good to see. It's going to be a pass. He pumps. He throws it up. He's wide open, number 17, and he overthrows him. Kyle Flanagan had a beat on him. It would have been the last line of defense there. But I tell you, a couple of times we've seen Wakefield uh, receivers get open, and unfortunately their quarterback overthrow them. Three separate times in today's game, so making those connections could be a big difference here for uh, for Wakefield. But we know it's getting a little bit late here. Got to be very late in the third. Second and ten here. Tightly stacked formation this time. He goes back. He's going to pass underneath. Gets it out there. Oh, he makes a catch, but he went down on one knee. So, nice pass and catch. He goes down to one knee, which is an automatic down. Number 64, Sean Cronin out there. It's going to be third and nine upcoming. And number nine, Dana Isbell in there. Right linebacker. Deemer and Damari in the middle. He's back, and they're all all pass all the time now. He throws under these wide open again, number 82, and he just out throws him. Looks like he could have made a better angle on that ball because that was a much nice, you know, much more nicely thrown ball this yeah. time. Flanagan back there. Oh, sorry, that's not Flanagan. Number two's back there. That's DePietro. That's that looks like Michael DePietro there, number two. He's got some wheels for sure. And it's going to be a fourth down play here, and it's a big one border here. Uh, both went to each side and let's see if they switch uh, location of the ball here. Yeah, they did. But down play right here. Three pass plays in a row. Look for another one. Big play for Wakefield to get back into this one. They need to convert on one of these ones. Got plenty of time here. Throws it up underneath. Probably ill-advised. There's three guys in the middle there. They're going to turn the ball over on downs. Nice coverage by 40 Deemer, and Dana Isbell was in there too, number nine, as well as number 11, Damari. So with uh, eight, eight nothing right here for the Rockets, and they're mixing up their offense right here. All right, whole new offense in there for the Rockets. 
Damari, they got to get these guys set on the right. Moving up on the line now. Handoff up the middle. Oh, look at the hole for Thornton. This time he doesn't want to be denied, but Trevor rips one off for 20 yards right up the gut. Two guys catch him at the end, but that's a big run for Thornton. And it is funny how much he does look like Fleming. Plug those guys in and out, get Lucas Fleming in there like we said. We could have a couple of big, heavy-duty running backs uh, for this team. Big run right up the gut right there behind Joe Gilligan on the line. See if we can get some other names in there too. I think we got Max uh, Ramos in there on the left side. Swanee is um, Dave Swanson centering. Low snap this time goes up to Thornton. Stumbles ahead for about three, but the ball is, I think they said ball was there. Calling it down here, so it's. <laughs> I think they said two minutes to play. I don't think we ever saw them switch sides for the first fourth quarter, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Right? We might not have been paying attention, though, Brian, too, but uh, I, don't, I don't think they, uh, oh, uh-oh. My wife, Sue O'Connor, just came up here, and she is looking at me and giving me the laser eyes right now. I've, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. You don't want to see those coming up the stairs, I'll tell you. All right, here we are. It's, uh, it looks like they said there was two minutes left in the game. The Rockets up 8 nothing here. Goes back to Perez. Perez hands it off up to Thornton. Thornton drives it for about five tough yards here. I think this is going to be third down and about seven. Thornton coming off for a breather. Perez going in with the play. Adam Deemer flanking Perez. Inside handoff to Adam, and he gets stacked up almost immediately. So good penetration there for Wakefield to get in there. It's going to be fourth and long here, but I think the Rockets content to run this clock as low as they can. I think this might be a timeout for Wakefield to keep some time on the clock, but we're under two minutes here to be sure. I credit the Rocket coaching staff for a very tight game here, and they're perfectly content with uh, mixing up and getting a lot of other players in this game. Like to see it. Big fourth down play here. Looks like Deemer flanking. Uh, at this point, it's Perez, and Perez goes back to throw. He's going to keep it. Cuts back, gets pulled down right about the original line of scrimmage, drives forward. They are going to turn the ball over on downs. Credit Nick to stay inbounds on this one, so the clock should keep running here. we got to be getting close to the end of the game here. This is where the Rockets got to be careful because we saw about four passes in a row that were aired out and just overthrown, so we need some tough uh, pass defense here on this play. 54 in there right on the nose tackle. Big Masuch, 64 Cronin in there. Deemer, Isbell, Damari in the middle ground. In comes, looks like Swanee on the outside. Goes back, he pumps it, he looks in the middle, he's wide open there, and he, oh, he pulls it in! Beautiful tackle right there. Number 18, I wish I had the names on it, but that's a touchdown saving tackle right there. That's the passes we were talking about, Brian. Yes, Giancarlo Musto. Ah, nice, the worm Musto back there making a play, 18. So nice coverage right there, but a beautiful pass and catch for Wakefield late in the game. Look for him to keep the passes going here. Throws it deep, and he's open, and he pulls it in, and that's down close to the 10-yard line right here. So two huge pass plays here by Wakefield late in the game. Two huge pass plays to get to a, just about a first and a little more than goal here. 
for Wakefield. Love to get in back in this game and tie it up. Thrown underneath. He just out, oh, he throws it a little bit too far there. So seen that happen a couple of times for both quarterbacks today. Tried to throw it underneath in the flat. Takes off all of about two seconds on the clock. I wish we knew what it was, but we're looking at a second and maybe 12, 13. Second and 10 from the 12. An incomplete pass, so they need 13 to get in. They've got the big bodies back in there on defense. He's back to pass. He throws it underneath. Oh, and it's incomplete pass. Even if it was complete, it would have been down because he was down. So it's going to be third and 10 here. Clear four down territory, and they're going to. They're not only going to need six, they're going to need six and two with that safety. Yep. That safety looming very, very large <laughs> right now for the Rockets, Huge. right? Huge. Damari trying to fire up that team right there. Look for a big player to make a big play right here. <coughs> Don't know how much time's on the clock. You'd think that Wakefield might have enough time to even do a run here, but... Looked like some movement there. They let go. He's got plenty of time here. Oh, boy, he sneaks out. He's got a little room on the right. Oh, he gets absolutely crushed by DiCrescenzo. Coming back the other way, so he made him pay, but he does get about maybe four or five yards. It's going to be fourth down here, but Darmy DiCrescenzo just said hello. Gave him a huge lick, and this is going to be – this next play is going to be the game, Brian. Yeah. This thing's got to go in for six. Right? I, although although the reality is they can get a first down. I just don't know how much time is left, right? Yeah. So it is possible they get a first down. But you got to think they're looking for the end zone here. We've got 23 seconds. 23 seconds. So these guys are definitely going for the end zone here, and the Rockets would love to uh, preserve the shutout. Start off the uh, fall campaign with a victory. Right. All wins are good, Brian, all of them. So exactly. Rockets had some very nice plays. For, you know, without doing a recap, we could do it right now. Big, huge plays by Thornton running, Damari running. Beautiful pass and catch by Con uh, Damari to Conroy and Damari to DiNapoli. Big, big plays there. And then a huge play on a, on a hike snap that turned into a safety. When uh, Wakefield came up with a huge stop on sort of first and goal area inside 10. So this is a huge play. Fourth and 12, it looks like. Fourth and, yeah, fourth and about maybe eight to get in. It's back. He's looking to throw. He does throw it. He's got a little bit of room, and he just throws it a little bit too far. Great coverage right there by Conroy, and that's going to turn the ball over. So I would think the boys could go kneel on it right now and get out of here with an 8 nothing victory. Turned out to be a beautiful day. A beautiful uh, field out yeah, here, too, nice. Brian. This, this field up in Wakefield is something. Yep do without the sun, but that's all right. Yeah, you're going to have to go see a doctor after this game, <laughs> uh, the way you look. Yeah. You've aged about 10 years. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> For a good cause. <laughs> yeah, you conned me to get out here. You knew I had the day off. Yep. I can't really get out here at 3.30 all the time. Then I was just told by Steve DiCrescenzo, the next one's on a Saturday, so I have to do that one too. No excuses. There you go. You know how I like to hear my own voice, though, Brian? Hopefully they'll get right? a game scheduled for next Here's week. Here's the thing. If I didn't do this this year, I'd just look in the mirror at my house and just talk to myself. There you go. Right? That works. My wife often says, who are you talking to in there? I said, no one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> here we go. It looks like the Rockets should be kneeling on this ball here, and you'll see that he's going to take the snap on the center, which makes sense. It's going to Perez. He does kneel on it right here, and I think that could be the ball game if it was, uh, and that is the ball game. So, listen, nice start for the Rockets here. Very, very short uh, preparation uh, for the season, about just about just over a week of practice, handful of plays, and this big Rocket team came out, and uh, and uh, you know it's a pretty evenly matched game. It looked like the Rockets have their little bit more seasoning here, what might have been the better team, which they clearly were, but. Um, Couple of big players making big plays. Uh, get this first uh, game off to the right start here for Redding, and I believe our next game might be two weeks from now, Brian. I'm yeah, not sure. I think there was the next week might have been a buyer, a team that didn't have a freshman team here. But hey, 
Um, thanks for dragging me back, buddy. Anytime, buddy. All right. I think he did a terrible job on a lot of those plays. Always. Which I, you know, we'll see that, you know, they're going to come out. You know, we'll be getting calls from parents, like, <laughs> immediately. You know, we did, uh, the good thing is you didn't wait till uh, you know, game four to get the calls from the parents. It's going to come game one. Exactly. But listen, hey, if we have the chance to do it again, we'll do it. All right. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Right? All right. See you later. Peace.